Let's have a good look at the assembled Raspi O Breakout Pro and how it works to protect your Pi. Let's have a closer look at it now it's finished. So you've got nice big clear port labels down each side. These connections here on the outer holes are protected. What they're protected by is these components on the underside. For each port you've got a 330 ohm resistor and a 3V3, 3.3 volt Zena diode. And what that does is it stops the uh, Pi from trying to provide too much current for the ports. It limits the amount of current that the ports can actually uh, put out to about 10 milliamps, which is well within their capabilities. So it means you won't be able to overstress the ports by connecting too many high power LEDs and things to them. But also, um, the Zener diodes prevent uh, problems where it, it, whereby if you connect, say, 5 volts or 12 volts accidentally to the uh, GPIO ports, normally they would just be destroyed instantly but the uh, Zener diode will protect against that. The other nice thing about it is that because the ports are clearly labelled, you don't have to count, right, I need GPIO 25, that's three pins up from the bottom right-hand side of the GPIO header, one, two, three, etc. This is where quite a lot of errors creep in, in my opinion, with wiring, so uh, you don't have to do all that counting anymore. And the other thing is, if you actually want to get access to the unprotected ports. Uh, you can do that by way of using a different header. If you use one of the stacking headers, you can have access to those ports as well. But uh, by default, uh, that's not supplied in the kit. That's an optional extra because the majority of people won't necessarily want that.